Hello. Yo. Happy Q and A Wednesday giveaway day. Giveaway day. It's <laughs> a lot of rhyming. Y'all, it's hot. It's, it's real hot. It's damn hot. It's, it's so hot. It's 107 degrees here today. Oh, no. I should not, I'm, I'm not, like, my arms are not in shape to be wearing a I'm gonna tank slap top, you. but check out, check out the tank top. Guys, don't mess with my cat. Ha. You know why? 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 I will cut you. I will cut you. I, you almost knocked over your wine. Oh, that would have been horrible. Yeah. I would have cut myself. <laughs> sure. Show sure, y'all. All right, happy Q and A Wednesday, guys. Um, um, we're so happy that everybody's here. This is a giveaway Wednesday. Yeah. Um, because we're really excited favorite. about. Yeah, it's always our favorite. <laughs> we're really, <laughs> really excited about giving away something. Hey, Veronica. Veronica. Get down, get to this. <laughs> I love that so much. So we're super excited about um this giveaway Wednesday, and Lexi's here. Lexi. Um. And I've been excited about it all day. I don't know if you guys watch our stories, but I've kind of been like Jay's been about it a bit. Jay's been rampant doodle. Hey I've Terry. Hey Terry. Oh, thank you. She said you did a great oh, job with Gregory you. yesterday. Yay, Terry we had so much fun some... talking to him. He's, yeah, we can ramble forever. Oh, but, yeah, we... but that was fun. Hey Kimberly. Kimberly, happy hump day. Yeah, happy hump day. So if you guys are joining us for the first time on a Wednesday, on Wednesday night, we go Q&A Wednesday. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. say, ask us your questions, whatever cat questions you have, um, or any question that you have, and we will do our best to answer um, from our personal experience. Um, Beverly's here. Kate Donnelly, hello. Kate, Fabulous Kate shirt. Beverly. Just gave my rescue cat a, sm a small... Ice cubes. Thank you. Made from Mountain, Mountain Valley, Valley spring, spring water in his bowl. He is so spoiled. Yay! We just talked about that. Wow. Yeah, it's so much fun. Um, so we go live on Wednesdays and we say, "Ask us your questions," and we do it in That's advance. Um, so some of you guys ask in advance. Sometimes, sometimes you guys just jump on here and like ask us as we go, and JP. that's great. Either way, this is the way we learn, right? As cat parents, this is how we learn. You guys, roll. you ask a question, or we ask a question. We ask you a question. However, it works, and then we learn. We learn, share, and grow. Beautiful, yep. Carolyn. Hello to you. Hey, JD. Cat eyes. That's right. Ah, got cat somebody eyes. saw my cat eyes today. So that's right. uh -huh. yeah, so I made I these cat eyes with uh, this new eyeliner that we got um, at CatCon from uh, Kat Von D Beauty, which was, what are you doing? I don't know, I was doing like a... Twitch, 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 twitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not like doing that. <laughs> no, so uh, Kat Von D Beauty uh, sponsored us this year for our presentations at CatCon. Thank you, Kat Von D. Mwah. Um, and we, they gave us cat eyes and they, and they gave us some, um, eyeliner. So I decided today to try to do it myself. I think you did um, great. I, it's not as good as it was before. I don't think I mean, it's really not like tell. Louis did it. That's I know. For sure. It's not like Louis. Louis rocks. I was really of, trying to go big, but I don't know how to go big. He sensed the natural vibe with me. Wasn't that kind of him? It's like, we're not going to go full cat eyes. We're just going to go a kitten. Hey, eyes. Jen. Beverly said, Diago gets his... Gets a ditches cone on Sunday. You have a party. Party. Yay, yes, party. Nate. Yeah, to you, handsome. Hey, Nate is How are you? <laughs> I know, but it's so much it's fun. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Jen is here. Hello. And Chris is watching. Hey, hey Chris. Chris. Chris is the watching. Stay. And Chris is talking about Chris in the third person. Yeah. My yeah. favorite. That's Adrian's Why? favorite. Adrian um, feels uncomfortable when people do that. Yeah, so, okay, so uh, if you guys are just joining, we're doing a giveaway Wednesday uh, with a Q&A, and we just like that because it all rhymes. Yeah, we just But we that, have so something cool. really exciting, really, really, really exciting that we want to give away to you guys. Has nothing to do with our products. No, nope. um, no. Nope. But, but, we're, but we, we are but blessed with it. it and it of a beautiful thing. It really, really could. So stay to the end because um, we're going to give uh, – Actually, share the share this live now with your friends. Um, either share it on your page or share it in Messenger or whatever. If you have cat, if you have cat fr friends with cats, then uh, share it with them so they can jump on too, um, and so that we can all together. You really like, are like super real today. I'm telling oh you, God. I feel like I'm on like some like like some sort ultra of ultra amounts of Red Bull or something, and I, I had one. I'm trying to drink wine to calm down. 
I'm just so excited, guys. This is very exciting. Yes. It's hey, Faye. Hey, Trish. Like, it's not that exciting. It's super Hi, exciting. Hi, beautiful. Oh, my God. We need to catch up with you soon. Trish, I'm so I was thinking about you, like, all day off and on. So out of the loop. Yes, I miss you. Okay, said, speak about your product that helps cats with vomiting due to hairballs. That recommended the jam stuff. My cat does not prefer that. Yeah, so, so there's a lot of the, um, what do they call that? Petroleum-based petroleum stuff. Petroleum-based, yeah. yes, thank you. Wow, look at me wow. busting out the big words. Girl, what a hey. smart brain. Um, yeah, so the petroleum-based um, often has like the chemicals yes. in it that we're not really in. Yeah, and the and the um, gelatin that we're not yeah. a fan of. Um, and, and it actually is not really that good for your cat. Right. We, our product, because um, she asked us to speak about our product. Thank you, Chris. Um, Doc and Phoebe's, one of my favorite shirts. It, it, I don't know, like three out of five times, you guys watching our live, she will be wearing the shirt. Because yeah, one, like it's the most comfy. comfy. That's true. Yep. And two, it's we love our Doc Can I just Phoebe's. tell you, honestly, here's the thing. I came home tonight and the first thing. Okay, I will get to your question. That happens, she, yeah. As soon as she finishes squirreling. Bra gone. Bra gone. Bra gone. This shirt is very nice like that, for... Nate? Yeah, sorry, too much information, but it's so comfortable. When it's 107, you got to take off that extra layer, y'all. Yeah. Okay, always, back to the question. Yeah, so uh, Kate said, speak to your product. So uh, we have a product called Catalyst, and it is a mixture of digestive and live antioxidant enzymes. Um, it's a super easy supplement to give yeah. because it's liquid. You just put it in a little bit of wet food, um, fuss-free, no <laughs> issue. Um, but the cool thing is, is that it helps your cat to absorb more of the nutrients. It basically breaks down the nutrients in um, in the food so that it, it processes better, as more well sleeping. as reducing the antioxidant enzymes, reduce inflammation in the GI tract. So for many of these issues where our cats vomit, they're vomiting because of... And they, there's a million reasons why cats... Maybe not a million, but there's a lot of reasons why cats vomit. Um, but two of the main ones are the, the diet, the diet that is causing, um, if it has grains and carbs in it, high amounts of grains or carbs are going to kind of get stuck in the digestive tract. Yeah. So they, so when they groom themselves, that hair is not able to be uh, digested correctly. So they just burp it back up for, is what is her family term for it back up. They throw it back up. Um, and, uh, and because the, also the dry diet or any, there's a numerous amount of things that can cause GI inflammation in the, um, I'm going to cut you. You have very nice collarbones. <clears throat> really? Yeah. I have Especially no when arm. you do that, like, GI stuff. <laughs> <laughs> GI. <laughs> when um, the, the GI tract will get inflamed um, due to a numerous amount of things, oftentimes the dry food diet. Um, so what this catalyst does is it reduces the inflammation and it goes in and tells the, the, the nutrients in the food where to go in the body so they're better, um, they're able to be, they're able to be processed. Why are you making fun of me? I'm not, you're just like so energized I tonight. I am. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like, ah, I told Don't apologize. Text, I texted her scary. earlier and I was like, very I very am very on very like. She was ramped. I'm, I'm ramped. Like I'm, like, I'm just like. I think too much brain power going on today. I did, like, I did some, like, courses. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Lots, Ooh. lots of stuff. Uh, Jen said it's been a pitas and no bra week for me. I cannot wait to catch up with you and your surgery. You're, you survived. That's good. Yes. Very good. Yes. And, um, and, and the kitties are doing a great job at recovery. Oh, they always do. Barry said I need a taco <laughs> hat with that. Right. Yeah, Loose me. Stop it. You know, I love this. Where'd the taco hat go? Oh, I probably hit it. Yeah. Because it was right there. And yeah. then you put it somewhere far, far, far away. I don't even know where I'm Chris asked, what am I drinking? I'll tell you what I'm drinking. It's a new beer I found. Right. It's 26.2 it's Brew. <laughs> and it was on sale. So, hey, yo. But I like, the, I like yellow and blue. You know, you know what, what it tastes like? I like the colors. I took a sip of it. You know what it tastes like? Bud Light. Beer. It tastes like Bud Light. Yeah. Not my thing. Mm -hmm. Not my thing. Ooh. Hi, from Hi Diane. Alaska, Diane. We had a Terry Swanson here. Good evening Wait, to what you. Did Trish say? Where's Trish? Where's uh, Trish? Up, up, up. Way too way long. Need to long. catch up. Yes, we miss we you. Yeah. How has it been? Like it's been like way yeah. before. Cut yeah, time. we should do that. We. Uh, I'm gonna reach out mm -hmm. tomorrow. I'm gonna put it on my list. Um, 
Yes, and Dr. Crozier. Hello, love. Primal raw to my cat. Very nice, Haley. She's All about preventative and care. You amazing cat mommy. Haley, you're amazing. And your last name is Sweet. Is it really sweet? Because that's sweet. Do you have preventative products that you sell that would be good for an active, healthy cat? Yes. Yes, we do. We yeah, we actually do. So our number one go-to is the, is the product that we were just talking about, Catalyst. So um, versatile. It's just, it's so good for just overall health. Our cats get it in every meal, every day. Um, and because it's a mixture of digestive enzymes and um, antioxidant enzymes. So here's the cool thing, Haley, about um, Catalyst is that, or, or here's the cool thing about digestive enzymes in general, is that even if you're feeding a very species appropriate, um, fresh or raw diet, then we're still, if we're not feeding pancreas, if we're not feeding, if Delicious. pancreas is not in that, um, in that meal, then they're, then our cats are not getting the digestive enzymes that they need um, on a daily basis. So this adds that back in. On top of that, we've got the superoxide dismutase, which is an antioxidant enzyme in there, which reduces inflammation, helps the bone and joint, the bones and joints, helps the skin and coat. Um, our cats are just like freaking thriving on it. Uh, and they eat Kath a fully species appropriate raw food diet. Kathy said, my kitty Tiggs went, just went into remission yesterday after five months. Yay! How Kathy. exciting. I'll cheers to that. Yes. Congratulations, Tiggs! Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting yeah, some yeah. major love and stone here. It's Mr. very Spencer distracting. Super lovey tonight. Ooh, Jill Vegas here. Hello, beautiful hey, woman. Ah, Kimberly said, I discovered what appeared to be, I discovered what appeared to be hairball discharge. Hairball discharge. But out the intestine tract? That's out to the intestine, so they pooped out hairball discharge. Really? No, that can happen. Um, <clears throat> that can happen because it's processing through. Um, but that kind of sounds weird. I don't know. Can you I mean, put I it in layman's terms? <laughs> can you just yeah, like yeah, lay it out there stuff. dirty? Like give it to me dirty. Yeah, um, give it to me dirty. Because I think like they poop. only need to be put, put in wet food. Homer is more mm. of a dry food guy. Picky, picky, picky. Yeah. Okay. So what? Um, so catalyst can be put, or it can be given no. directly. We don't recommend Chandra that. Wants though, to know too. It causes it causes stress. Yeah. If if your cat refuses to eat wet food, I'll tell you the the number one thing that works when you when you feed your cat dry food and you want to give them wet food, even if it's just for supplementation. This is what we did before we went to a wet food diet, because. Um, we were only feeding dry food, but we wanted to give them supplements. So what you do, because um, because the majority of the time you are, um, you're you're free yeah. feeding, right? Yeah. You're you're if they have an all day buffet, yeah. and so that's why they're not going to eat the food that you, uh, yes. the wet food that you give them because they have an all day buffet. Like why would they eat something if they don't need to? So what you do is at night. Before you go to bed, pick up the dry food. They have nothing. They fast overnight. It's great for the, their digestive system, overall <laughs> health. Um, but pick up the dry food. They're going to fast while you're sleeping. When you get up in the morning, before putting the dry food back down, give them some wet food. Add in the supplementation or whatever it is that, you, that you're wanting to give them. And even if it's just a small amount, they're going to be way more apt to eat it. Our <laughs> cats were like, it was no problem. Yeah. It was no problem. Um, because they didn't get... They didn't get dry food all night. They were hungry. Hunger is your friend. It is not, you cannot starve your cats. Um, you can't, you know, make them fast for too long. Like don't go a whole day without giving your cat some kind of food, but, or two days without giving your cat some kind of food. But um, when they're hungry, they're going to be more apt to eat whatever it is. And then, you know, give them the, the smelliest, grossest, Speaking of Yummiest. eating, Dr. Lori Coder said, have you ever had beer can chicken? I have not. I, uh, but I have seen videos about it where they feel like basically it. stick a can of chicken up a, oh, a can of beer say, up a chicken's butt. Mm -hmm. And then and they then, cook it like that. Mm -hmm. Looks a little intrusive. I think they pour the tried. beer in the, in the chicken. No, I think they put it and then it boils up into the chicken. And then close it up, and then it cooks. I don't well, think no, they, they get like, like actual cooks on the can. Really? 
That's stuff. interesting. Now I'm going to have to look that no, up. No, we haven't. Sally <laughs> Williams is here. Sally, did I tell you I talked to her? <gasps> what? Did I tell you I talked to her today? You, you, I did tell you that. No, you, weren't listening you didn't. To. When did we talk today? Well, for like five minutes before we went live. No? No. Okay. Yeah, no. I talk, I, yeah, I talked to her for like 45 minutes. Sally, she's information from me now. Yep. Come yep. on. Fun stuff. Ooh, Faye said, my beautiful male cat, male black cat, Salem. Salem. I love that. Peas? In, in the water bowl numerous, numerous times a day? day. No. You're no you're problems? <laughs> Any ideas? Peas in you know what, the Faye? water bowl? You should talk to Sally. <laughs> Sally is a feline behaviorist, and she helps um, deal Have with. Have you ever heard of that? These types of issues. I've Not in the water bowl. That. But we've heard of cats peeing in lots of like lots weird, of strange places, but yeah. not in the water. But in bowl. the water bowl, and how interesting that he just like Neil's here. It. Hey, Neil, Neil we're we're hanging out with Neil tomorrow night. Oh, um, my oh, God. and guys, Karen, if you're good just to you, if you're just joining, um, welcome. And uh, today is Q and A Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we go live and we say, "Ask us your questions." We'll do our best to answer whatever we can. And if we can't answer it, we'll look it up and answer you later, um, because we love cats and we love um, learning. However, and we love today all of you. is a giveaway Q and A Wednesday. <laughs> So we're doing a giveaway as well. Um, share this post with your friends, with your cat peoples, um, and we're going to be doing a, a, a giveaway as soon as we finish. Two things. It. Sally said, Jersey Shire. I know you meant short. She said, LOL, Jersey Shire. I like Jersey Shire better. Um, in the house, Moscow Mules and Margaritas. That's a good night. Jersey Shire. You just got a big hug for me. Hey, hey. We did girls. Um, we need to Neil go to said, Jersey. I have found pancreas is very palatable to most cats. Yeah. How about that? Probably. We haven't tried to feed our cat pancreas yet. <laughs> Marilyn. I oh, mean, my God. I almost wished you I was watching Frasier reruns. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? We're Jersey Shore and Frasier? What? Tonight? No, she's from Jersey. So she's saying oh, oh, Jersey yeah, yeah, Shore yeah. and the house. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I thought we were talking about the, like, you housewives of get, Jersey get, Shore. Get your head into Jersey it. Shore. It's not a show. All wet food is why my cat went into remission. Jersey Shore is a show. Yay, Kathy. That's so exciting, Kathy. What up, y'all? Yeah, uh, yeah, Kathy. Kibble is cracked. It's not good stuff. It On is. the grill, chicken beer, beer chicken, beer can chicken is made on the grill. It's awesome. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's I on my show, too. I would love to make it. Ooh, Doc and Phoebe's. I love this show and cats. so much. And cats yes, with... this is the indoor hunting feeder system. Feeding hunter hunting. I can never. And you had get it right, right the first time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey Z. Um, hey Z. You can up inside the whole chicken. Barbecue it that way. You know Delish. what? I want to try that. I, I'm not a meat eater, so I won't eat it. But I love to grill meat. It smells so good. Ooh. Uh, I will, and, and I bet it has to be, if you're doing the whole chicken, I bet it has to cook for a long time. Do we want to do that this weekend? Can we do that this weekend? We would have to watch a lot of YouTube videos. I think there's, oh, I think there's something wrong with me. I know. Our doorbell just rang. Let me check it. No. 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 What if it's one of our no. neighbors? No. I'll just tell them that we're doing it. No. All. They will text us if it's, if it's one of our neighbors. Sit down. That's rude. We're not going to have conversation right now. It's probably an Amazon delivery. Oh. Yeah. I think there was uh, our bubble wrap was supposed to be. Oh, time. okay. Still feels kind of rude, but. Okay, hold on. We are way behind on comments. Let's catch up. Oh, geez. <laughs> it is a neighbor. Because <laughs> <laughs> they rang twice. Sorry, guys. Um, so, Haley said, Samantha Youngblood, do you sell their products at your shop? Actually, Haley. Samantha does. Um, the uh, Young Blood just started like a month or two ago selling our products at their shop. Yeah. Do you, uh, Haley, are you near them? Because that's the most amazing shop in the world. And if, um, yeah, and if you are interested in our products, you can just get it there. Don't wait on the mailing. Oh, oh, secrets. Stop it, Scott. Catalyst and Oxycat are amazing, Trish said. I ran out, and within two days, my fats was limping. Oh, 
been on it for a few days now, limp gone. Isn't that amazing, Trish? So the same thing happens with me. We don't have any limping cats right now, but they get it on a daily basis. But if I run out, because we buy like a different supply for us, um, and I don't want to tap into the cat stuff, so um, if I run out, my back starts hurting. It's crazy. Um, but it's that inflammation, right? It's just like giving the body all of these nutrients that it needs. And it's not like immediately. It usually takes like a couple days before it like starts hurting again. Um, oh, Samantha, thank you. I put cat eyes on tonight, today. I decided to be a little crazy. Um, Elaine... We love you too. And Samantha said, yes, yes, yes. Who was hot out there? Who was that? Huh? That was Linda. Linda. Lisa, Linda. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Linda. Linda. Linda was the one that was uh, uh, one of your golf clubs. And she didn't come in time. Oh, yeah. So, guys, this weekend, if you guys don't know, wow. We're getting we're way, way, behind, way behind. We're way behind. Way behind. Okay. But don't miss anything. But. Okay. Guys, um, sorry. Just give us a minute yeah, to catch up. We were, we... She gave away her golf clubs. We I posted yeah. them on next door. I tried to sell she them for a long time. Them. Nobody was going to buy them. I finally was like, we need to get it out of the garage. Young boys came to our door. my whole golf club set. Yeah. Like, beautiful, yeah. awesome golf clubs with some vintage, like a putter and a, and a driver <sighs> from my grandfather, who was like an amazing golfer back yeah. in the day. Um, gave it away. But just the boys down the street to post them. it on next door. So it's gone. But she's on her way to LA, and um, she wanted to golf. Yeah. Did you say Lisa? She's going to go see her best friend. They've been best friends since they were oh, in fourth grade. I wish they would. And have she's seventy-two, it. and she won in the golf clubs. I know she's a baller. She's a baller. Shot caller. Yes. Okay, let's catch up. Only in uh, was the, cat pees in the, was the cat that pees in the water bowl a rescue? Maybe oh, it was toilet Angela. trained at some point. <gasps> Trish. Think wow, of that's a good. The box. That is a good point. Oh my god. We forgot to get back to that. Um, yeah, so so cats that do like very random in today's International Kitten Day. Oh my god, we are we are um, way behind. Okay. No, Can but we, we are like scattered. We gotta we gotta focus. like answer one at a time. Let's okay, go. Focus. All right, focus. here we go. So cat that is peeing in the water bowl. This is a behavioral thing, obviously. Um, reach out to <clears throat> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you I, I'm gonna give you off to the expert, um, Dr. Marcy Koski, yes. M-A-R-C-I. Yeah, Sally may have some good stuff for you too. Yeah, or Sally, if, Sally if, if she has time, she's yes, super busy she's with busy. it. <laughs> but busy. um but um, feline behavior solutions, you can, you, they have a private Facebook page that you can go to um, and join, and you can ask about that. Um, there's many reasons that cats do that. Oftentimes, it's stress. Yeah. Um, Salem was found outside at about, at about five it's weeks. It's also sometimes TV. because of... It's also... Is Salem the one? Yes. Okay. So, yes. Uh, it's also sometimes because of litter box. Like if you, so, the rule of thumb is you want to have one, at least one more litter box than you do cats. And then um, you want to also make sure that the litter box is the size that is correct. So, uh, most litter boxes, boxes that you purchase at like Petco or PetSmart They're too small. Or, or Walmart are, are actually too small for a cat. So a, a correct size litter box should be a length and a half the size of your cat. Yeah. So what we do is instead from, of buying their nose litter box to their bum, not including their tail. Yeah. So, but still big. Um, yeah, it's still big. So if you're, um, if what we do is we go to Home Depot or Lowe's and we get like the hardware store and we get um, storage bins now. And we buy, and we just like cut a little hole for a door, and we use whatever litter. Um, now the cat attract by uh, Dr. Elsie's is what has it's really been worked a for us. It's yeah. been a winner. It's not my favorite litter. Yeah. We always transition back to like a more natural Lord, litter. And if you get However, that litter, I'm works. gonna tell you, you're gonna have to get you a metal scoop. You wanna know why? Because when they pee in there, it turns into a little lump of concrete. It's gonna take you a half a minute to dig it out. It turns into something real hard. Get you a middle scoop. <laughs> my Garfield also pees on my on my dog's empty bowl with a silicone 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 holder and lately fluffy blankets or anything fluffable. 
treated with antibiotics twice, and now we're trying your urinary plus with Tadalus. Okay, wonderful. But Selena, have you posted. tried? Um, have you have you tried? Oh, wait, is is Selena the one with the? No, this is a different. Mr. Garfield yeah, is different. Yeah, has Salem that's being in the water, water bowl. And Talina has Mr. Garfield who pees in various places. Stay it's with so it. so interesting. I can't. Let's focus. Can't. We are 46 God. comments behind. I see a thing for 46 comments. Here oh we go. My. Here we okay. go quick. Here we go. <laughs> makes you feel better. Diva once peed uh -huh. on a pair of Prada riding boots. Doesn't oh. make me feel better. That's very sad. Neil loves me some barbecue. And Dr. Kozier posted... The beer can chicken for me. Thank so if any you. of you guys want to know how to make beer can chicken, and I'm Carrie just said, it. place cavity of chicken, legs pointing down onto an open can. So that's it. That's it. I saw the that chicken on HG or not? Uh, yeah, on the cooking channel. Place can with chicken on grill over indirect heat and above a drip pan. Grill the chicken covered until cooked through, and an instant read thermometer inserted into the thickest part registers one sixty five. 45 to 60 minutes, that's your kind of grilling. That is my kind of grilling. Uh, yes. That's your UPS. No, so that was a sweet person from next door that came by. I just saw a black tail saunter by the background. Yeah. That's our, that's our Z. He Either keeps coming Z close. Or... Yeah. Or we got Amazon so we delivery. Got Twister right here. We've got either Friday or Zoro right there. From afar, you can't tell the difference between them. Uh, um. Barbara said, my cat, okay. Zoe, has decided she doesn't want to eat raw food anymore. The kibble gives her really loose poop. Help. I try, but she doesn't want it. She doesn't want to eat wet food either. Oh, okay. So, Barbara, uh, she doesn't like to eat any wet food. So, she was eating raw, and now she's saying, no, give me kibble. Is that is that right? Because um, so long as, like, the kibble is no longer available, it, it's usually, like, they might protest, and our cats do. But we can mix in. Too much. But we can mix in some. Oh yeah, sure they do. Or I mean, lately they haven't. Um, but because we get like a lot of the rabbit, and they love that. Yeah, that's right, that's but right. when we feed them the turkey, they will protest. Yeah. And now, and they used to mm -hmm. love turkey. But you mix in. Um, what we do is we mix in a little bit of the like the smelliest whatever. And literally, just like a half of a can or a half of a, we don't do the cans anymore, but we do the um, packages, like open open farm, um, a little bit of the uh, <laughs> smelly wet food into the raw, and it tricks them every time. You can also use treats. So Zorro is, um, Zorro's a little bit, he's, he's like the princess now. He used to, like she used to what? be the princess. We have to hand feed him in order to Yeah, sometimes her. we do. So we have to like, like, like no, seriously, let's eat this. He like smells it and he's like, okay. But then you grab a little bit of the raw meat and you raw food and you put it on your hand, he'll start eating it yeah. and he'll be like, oh, okay. And then he goes yeah. into it. But we have to like hand feed him at first for him to notice it. Now, what I do is I put in the um, Scout and Zoe's um, minnows, minnows, dried minnows, which is their favorite treat ever. And I put it in there. And so... He will go for it. He, he goes for that, and then he's like, "Oh, yeah, this is good." So he's already eating it. So sometimes we have to trick our cats. Hey, Krista, congratulations on your opening! Oh my God, Bruce and Willie's in the house. Bruce and Willie's. Bruce and Willie's. They just opened up a natural pet store in right, in Chicago. It's like a brilliant, yeah. yeah and it's it's like a it's not just like, it's like a, a natural GNC pet store. It's not. It's yeah. For pets. It's like a GNC for pets. It, it's all Brilliant. the natural supplements, all the the treats, all of. Go check them out, Bruce and Willie's. Bruce and Willie's. Bruce Go and follow Willie's. Them on Facebook. Go follow. Yep. Sally said Marlene is doing great on Oxycaddy. Looks great, feeling good, and will eat his pate when it's got the drops in it. Thank and you. She told me today Sally. that he actually likes the Oxycat. Like if she puts it in the food, he eats it because he um, likes Oxycat. Chris said, "Are you going to answer the questions sent earlier?" It's yes. A really good yes, question. we are. Also, <laughs> what wet food do you recommend? Homer is a rescue cat. Here in Vegas, estimated six years old. What are a few wet foods? Kate is here in Vegas. Um, okay, hey, so neighbor. the the number one, uh, the only cat food or she's the only food. wet food oh, that we no. eat right now. What we're Chris. getting, we're getting to it. I know, I know what that is. Whoa. Um. So Kate, the 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 wet food that we feed right now is Open Farm, and yes. it's like it's 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 one of the better ones. Honestly, if you go to, um. If you go to a, a healthy pet boutique um, here in Vegas, what side of Vegas do you live on? Because we can recommend, we've got, like, there's a ton of them. Um, and live on, live at, live in. Wow, Jay needs a nap. 
or something. She needs something. Okay, because Kate has a question that's very similar to Chris's. And Chris, we are coming to that. Like, right, were you in the middle of saying something? I was saying you can get About like food. a lot Open of farm, good, good Koa. Quality. Yeah, there's a couple. Just look Koa, up. Uh, Koa's okay. Um, there's, I mean, if you go to any of these, any place that you would get open farm, you'll find mm -hmm. a, like a, a plethora of good quality. Um, and you can always just look for the, it, honestly, one of the main things, if we're just going like, we just want a better food and you just yeah. want to look at the ingredients, um, obviously make sure that the ingredients are, you know, the top five ingredients are meat and then, yeah. and then look and see if that has the ingredient carrageenan. And if it doesn't have the ingredient carrageenan, then it's spelled um, with a C. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's also like carrageenan. Okay, so Chris, let's answer this question, and then we will I catch up on comments. Least. She said, "My we voice." Have Sixty-five. I know we're gonna catch up. <gasps> Pay attention. Okay, okay, okay. let's focus. Okay. Jesus, Leave after me. real Leave tonight, me. my boy Archie chews and swallows everything: plastic bags, string, the broom, etc. Then he throws up. String. Oh. Um, thank God he throws up some of that stuff. What can I do to stop him? Also, at the same time, Homer loves to see and eat anything plastic and chew on it, eat the corners off rogue Ziploc bags, and I'm more vigilant about hiding and disposing all plastics. So cats that go crazy on all yes. this stuff. What yes. do you do about okay, a cat that's so eating Kate, for Absolutely. Chris? You need to be Chris vigilant first. about, yes, and Chris. We, we need to be vigilant about hiding these things. Hey, so Todd. we have to do this. We have a cat Friday. Oh is. My if you guys God. saw our story today, but our sweet loving Princess Friday, our like Ugh. heart, um, she is a plastic eater. She is in love with tampons. Not just right. a plastic eater. Look at what she tried to do to my oh, flip flops. Yeah. Do you see that? She ate the. Come she, on already. She bit on the. Chewing, chewing. So yeah, so she's like a dog, um, and she chews on things, and sometimes Lord, she yeah, injects the them, um, which sometimes causes chaos in our house and panic. like high yeah high panic attacks um because we're worried about it but um so we want to keep her keep her away from that keep you want to keep your cats away from that but also so kind of cat proof your house right but at the same time um look up desensitization 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 and counter conditioning <laughs> So this is, this is, we're still, we're actually not doing it as well as we should be, but, um, oh. there, because if you're vigilant about it, in fact, um, Susan Fixton yeah. from truthaboutpetfood.com had this issue. She was vigilant about fixing it and she fixed it. Um, so we have not yet fixed it. We haven't completely fixed it because we're not vigilant about it. Hi Patricia. And she's not, um, She's not crazy about it either. She's she will randomly do this, and then other times it's like, oh, no big deal. Um, but that's that's no excuse. We should be vigilant about it. So desensitization, yes. desensitization, um, counter conditioning is a, a great way yes. to redirect the the behavior of your um, of your cat's Heather. Heather right is here. Hello, hey, beautiful. Heather. We've missed you. You've been in Montana posting beautiful pictures. Of, like, Aaron pikes and Archer stuff. is here. Hello, um, love. But look that up for for pika cats or pika pika. I think it's pika. Pika, yeah. Oh, Heather's sitting at the airport waiting for my flight back to Phoenix. Oh, yay. Oh, Brenda, you're so kind. She used to eat fancy feasts for years, not even that anymore. Barbara with the cat that won't eat anything but kibble. Man. Mm. Reach out to us. Let's let's work on your Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do this one individually. Yeah. Uh, Barbara, re, uh, DM us, uh, private message us. And let's go like case by case. Let's, on go, this let's, go. let's do a little deep dive. Yeah. Because we do that. Once in a while, I give my cats that. tuna. They <laughs> end up farting a lot. Kimberly. <laughs> that happens once. Hi, once Heather Roberts. When I eat fish once. Sometimes when I eat fish sometimes. Oh, that's it. Sometimes yeah. when I eat fish. Hi, Lisa. Please. Uh, Lisa, Lisa. <laughs> I did three times the damage to my flip-flops. I know, but they just this just happened today. It made me very sad. Okay. Because they're brand new yeah. flip-flops. They're Chris, like, I think just I can't hide everything. This that's weekend. my thing. Chris, that's my thing too. So it's like we can't always. Yes, it's true. No you can't way. hide everything. You want to hide as so much as possible. You know, she sold a lid to our olive oil, and we never did find it. We still we had to use a it. wine and we have to close we have it. actually she into we modeled the entire house, and we still haven't found it. Right, and maybe she ate it.
There's no way she did that. No way she ate that. Oh. She'd be dead right now. Like, there's Stop no Stop saying that. Okay. Let's, okay. Do we have one more so, question? Yes, here. we do from Faye. Faye is Faye, Faye, Faye here? Faye is here! Faye is here! Faye. No, this, yeah. no, this oh, is no. from Faye. Faye Lieberman. Faye, she said, yes, I'm wondering about cat food, both dry and wet. Do you suggest raw food? And if so, what kind and how? I'm not sure about it. Oh, girl. I'm yeah, so when it comes to cat food, it's, um, it's you know, you want to do as much uh, as possible in the world of non-processed is what we is what we Yes, recommend. it's open farm, Kate. She said, what's the name of that food again? Open farm. Yes. Yes. Um, so when we're talking about cat food, um, we want to think about how our cats or how we even – um, we'll be eating a healthier diet, right? We know, um, and I just po we just posted um, a little clip from our presentation last week or the week before, I can't remember. Um, Focus. On this specific thing. <sighs> yeah, I know. Gabby, yeah. by the way, we did check under the fridge. I moved the entire fridge out when we were taking up the tile in the kitchen. Not there. No. Not there. No, checked everywhere. Hi, Trisha. So we want to feed our cats the most species-appropriate diet, which means it, it mirrors as closely as possible to the food that they would eat in the wild. This is the best for our feline friends um, and why our uh, lions in the zoo are fed raw meat. What? You are. <laughs> Am I off the chains? You're off. You're the off chains? the chains. <laughs> Off the charts. Off those chains. <laughs> off the charts. Off he the chains. Me off my chain. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'm uh, gonna stop speaking. Adrian's gonna do the rest. Sorry. And Katrina said mine made off of the little Eiffel Tower I bought in Paris. Never did find it. I'm telling you. But it's scary when our cats are eating stuff that they're not supposed to eat. Yeah. That was our big panic when we were leaving, literally on the way out the door to CatCon to drive five hours to get there and leaving our cats with pet sitters. She had just eaten my shoelace. She ate a shoelace, which is actually a kind of a scary thing because a lot of like plastics and stuff. Not the whole through, thing, but like a piece of it. But a piece it. of it. Yeah. Right? And we were very concerned. Mind you, I just washed them too. Yeah. I literally just said, oh, I need to clean my shoes because we're going to CatCon. And so I washed yeah. my shoelaces. We just relaced them. And um, then I put them on the thing and I got in the shower and she comes in and says, Oh no! I'm like, what's yeah. going on? She's like, Zo or Friday is eating your shoelace, and I was like, take a picture. That's cute. And she's like, no, no. Carrie said I had hoped to adopt a third cat. I found a beautiful rag doll up for adoption in our rescue. I learned about scent swapping from you, so I brought my cat's blanket when I went to visit her. She reacted well, rolled out, rolled in it, made biscuits on it. So I brought it home, and my cat Taz walked up, smelled it. Gave me a funny look and promptly pooped on the blanket. That is awesome. Yes, that's like cat swearing. Yeah, that's like. I like, hell no, no. No new cat allowed. I'm oh, sad. I'd hope to so... adopt a third. No, that's not the end of the road. There's, no. there's. No, it's just, it's just this smell doesn't work for me. So I am going to mark it. I poop. And I, right. and maybe I don't have to be. I'm gonna poop on I'm it. Poop on it. So much easier clean, isn't okay, it? did we answer it's Faye's so question? Because that was one of the first questions. So, do you suggest raw food? If so, yes, yes and what kind? So, I would eat. Did you, you already answered it? I don't no. think I was listening. Oh, of course you are. Sorry. Probably because um, I'm off the charts, off the chain. So, yes. I'm off my Not chain. a fan of dry food. A fan of, of good wet food. We talked about open farm just now. And raw food, I would suggest to go a little easy if you can to start off and get a pre-made raw and start mixing it in with her existing yes. food. Yes, Faye, are you here? If you are, we Because let's right talk now. about, can we talk about How our- How about we just go ahead and talk about a giveaway? Let's talk about a giveaway. Because this is what- Yeah, Barbara wants to know what you're on and where she can get some. Right? I would also like to know that. She's on a Wednesday, is what she is. I am on a Wednesday. Busy. No, I can't, I can't tell you. So Barbara, I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys are like um, as high strong as I can be. Um, I normally can She's, keep it under control. Yeah. No Hi, Julie. issue. Um, I usually have anxiety. I don't even call this anxiety. This is like high strung. So I just, um, I, I woke up today and I only had like two things on my list. That's where the problem begins. Because yeah. when I have 
because normally my list is very long. We're going to do a deep dive into oriented. Jay's psyche right now. This is how this go works. Go into, this is what I I'm need so to do. I'm so glad I get to share it with all of you. And then you I know. get it done and I mark it off and I feel good. And I get it done and I mark it off and I feel good. And today I didn't have much on my list. So I put it all on my list, but I didn't put it on my list. I put it in my list. So then I just start going crazy and she's like, Hey, can you chat for a minute? I'm like, no, I'm busy. And I'm just like, yeah, no, it's, it's a little crazy. No, Jen just bought the, I will cut you tank. Yeah. This is right, really Julie shared tank. it. She knows. Chattling, is it Chiana? My hyperactive ferret. That's so cute. That's like me, Beverly. Kelly wants to know how your finger's doing. It's she good. She's still got a little belt on it. I put it on to like just like an hour ago. Um, I've had still. it off all day and I've been doing good, but um, it does feel a little, I think just because today sore. was a lot like of a lot of, stuff. of busyness. Um, I did a lot of stuff. We have, you do like, lots of I, stuff made, and I made dinner. Oh my God! I went shopping. I and made dinner into the in the garage. Midst of tonight, all the other things that I was doing today, I went shopping and made dinner. I pulled into the garage. It's been so long since we've cooked or I she cooks. Yeah. Um, I don't cook. I might be able to make a beer can chicken. I don't know. I, I'll work on that. But I pulled into the drive. I pulled in tonight. You see why I don't cook? So I pull <laughs> into the um garage because we clean out a garage pulled into the garage tonight and i was like oh it's smelling good in the neighborhood like one of our neighbors is cooking something and i was so immediately famished it smelled so amazing and then walked into the house and realized it's our house because yep. she made lentil soup lentil soup, We've got and lentil it's, so soup on the it's a soup that right eats like a meat now. it eats like a meat camille is here hey, hello love camille, camille was rocking it at our meetings today oh she'd be rocking it all right. Stop yourself, girl. All right, girl. Mm -hmm. um, Heather, okay. Yeah. So let's talk about the giveaway. I'm let's really excited about this. About the giveaway. I'm just, it's contagious. Let's, go. let's, let's go. go. Let's talk no, about no, the Now you're being weird. Oh, okay. Um, so let me tell you this. So let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you. 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 Let me tell when we were at CatCon this uh, last week or the week before, whatever it was, um, it'd be we, two weeks. Then. Is okay, it two go weeks? ahead. Anyway, when we were at CatCon, we hung out with for just a moment um, the people at Primal Pet Foods. Primal uh, is one of the one of the pet foods that we talked about tonight. That Primal some, is one of the foods that we feed, and it's one of the foods that we feed. So it's one of the foods that we can recommend. Um, they are one of the pioneers in the pet food, um, raw pet food Ross. Yep. industry. Um, so they were like, we want to slip you something because we were, uh, of course we were, you know, promoting them. I don't think that's how they said it. I want to slip you something. <laughs> like, what? No, he did it like this. Oh, so now you're broadcasting it all over the world. <laughs> uh, Heather, yeah, you do need that recipe. Lentil soup is so good. Oh, I will so give good. you the recipe. Uh, DM us because yeah. it is the best. So it is good. the best mm. lentil soup recipe I've ever yeah. I've ever had. And I love lentil soup, and I've had many of them. This, this one is my most favorite. Is and I add donk. I add a little. I add more garlic, of course. Hello. Can you smell garlic? Yeah, I do. Um, and celery. Yeah. Um, mm. I add I add more garlic, but I also add cayenne because I am a big spice fan. <laughs> So I add cayenne to it and um, make it uh, like a spicy it's lentil so soup. Good. Anyway, yeah. anyway, get a little so, fireball in the morning if you know what I'm saying. Uh, okay. What sounds so dirty? What sounds dirty? I don't know. Probably something about the recipe. Back to our giveaway. Okay. Heather, let so, us know what it was. It's <laughs> just, he slipped we, it. We can't. Oh yeah, that's what it what is. is wrong with us? Anyway. So um, hi, Mary. So what Primal Pet Foods did? For us this year is they gave us free three free free coupons products for primal pet food don't have to purchase anything you go to your go local in. pet store you can try yes. primal pet food for uh, free they gave us three we used one <laughs> yeah we feed primal and yeah. And we do a lot of couponing, so we this is a big help. <laughs> so, so we use one of them. We've got two. 
left. And we don't want to use them ourselves. We could use them ourselves, but we don't want to use but them ourselves. we want to share it. Because we want to share it with you Especially guys. with anyone who hasn't tried yes. raw. Yes. So I know there's like a lot of you guys out there, and maybe, and maybe, maybe, but a lot of you guys out there that have yes. um, that already purchased Primal, and it's like, oh, that would be great. And if you're like us, that would, that's great. But this is a way to get a full, like a full on, like full bag of it, a full bag, full bag which is like a frozen. lot of a so lot. You can try of food. one little nuggy at a time. Yes, what? and if you have it, a lot? so so our so our giveaway is what we want to do with you guys tonight is we want you to post. I don't know why that feels so good tonight. I don't know. I just keep doing it. No, you got it feels good? like this. Like don't get a little twisted. There you go. <laughs> you said it feels good. It, it feels good. You know what I mean? Um, oh, my it. neck just popped. That felt good. Um, okay, so what we want to do with you guys is we Kate want... Kate has never tried raw. Anyone uh, that has never tried raw but is interested in it. Chris has never tried raw. Yes! yes! Anyone that's never tried raw but is interested in it, we want to give you free raw. Yes. We want to give you free pre-made, all balanced, One completely... One of our favorite foods. And, you know, here's the, here. they also gave us some brochures here. Um, and they have on the back, and we'll send that to the winner here, um, but it explains how it's actually much cheaper to feed a pre-made raw than it is a, 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 a good quality canned food. Um, Faye's never tried because, it. Trisha's yes. never tried it. Share oh this Oh my post. God, you guys. Share this post. Kathy said, please. Yes, and let us know why you want your cat to, uh. to Try Julie's raw. never tried oh, this it. This is going to be really hard to pick. Uh, uh, we may have to like write out, down all their names and put them in a hat like we do with our private group. Oh, you want That's to? That's what we're going to do. We'll announce it tomorrow. Um, yeah. Okay, so I if you so. posted that in the so, comments, but, then we're going to But a way that. for all of you guys, if we had, oh, Jesus, if we had uh, like 17, we would give it to all of you guys right now. Every single one of you, because we should this see, is like, a way for you to, and it may be a transition. So if you win this, Hey, Mama Charlene, if you Mama. win this and you are able to... Beverly's uh, never tried Primal. Give your... Mary's cat. never tried it. Uh, you guys. Uh, if you've never tried raw, if your cats have never eaten raw, then this is a way for you to uh, give your cat raw for the first time. And, and you may have to mix it in with some wet food. And you may have to, you know, trick them a Play little bit. a little bit. Because it's raw. It's different. It's a different food. And we know how that, how that works with our cats. But we want to give this away to one of you guys, and then we're going live on Instagram right after this, and we're going to give another one away. Y'all. So you can come join yeah. us there. But look at this, y'all. So this is our fork formula, and I just want to show you guys just how cool it is. Like, if you're just getting started and you just want to try it, this is how they come. It's a little nutty. Like one little, one little just ounce. Just defrost it, yeah. And all you have to do is, yeah, thaw it. But, but you can try it a little bit Not at in the time. microwave. Not in the microwave. That kills the all the good stuff, y'all. Yeah. Don't yeah. do that. We put it in um a, in a bowl and then like stick the bowl in, in warm like water. warm water and it. And or you minutes. could just put it. No, I mean, it, when it's frozen, you just put it in the fridge. Um, yeah. Trish does this with Primal, um, and and then you just you know, uh, I mean, we bring it to mouse temperature. Not every cat is as picky as ours are. Yeah, um, but true. we spoil them, so that's probably why. Kathy's never tried raw. Yeah, Lisa's never tried raw. Oh, oh my, my God, goodness. you guys. Okay, you okay so what do? we're doing, no, what we're we totally to... doing with Facebook is we're taking all of your names and say, yes. I've never tried raw. Kate said, share it again. Raw. I love you, Kate. Uh, and we're going to put your names in a hat and we're going to, uh, we'll do it, we'll do it live. Joe or, Bates said, I'm fostering we'll 13 kittens for the shelter plus my own cats. Never tried raw for any of them. The fosters are a constant battle to keep healthy being younger, younger so a good Food would really be a Jill. help. Jill, tuck me the street. Right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. We're going to have to do random, random whatever. And then, you know what? I, because this is so exciting, maybe we should reach out to Primal and see if they're doing any more coupons. Oh, we can do that. Because this is such an exciting thing for us because I'm telling you, if there's one regret that I've had in my whole life as a cat mom, there's a few, but one of the big ones is that we didn't switch our babies to raw Earlier. Sooner. Yeah. And so to give you guys the opportunity to try something without having to go big out of pocket to see right. how it goes it's and just, it's a, try it's it out free. and not be scared thing. of it anymore, 
Yep. Oh, I love it. Oh, it makes me so happy. That's why I popped up on Goof Balls, guys. That is actually As, this. Julie said share publicly the again. the reason why I'm so excited about today. Like, why all day long, as soon as I was like, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a <laughs> giveaway. Kim, yes, we did say mouse temperature. So we bring it up to, like, body heat temperature. So it's not cold and it's not cooked. We right. don't want to cook it because let's... I mean, that's why that, we that eat raw. That defeats the purpose. Right. It defeats much of the purpose. I mean, you can still do a gently cooked raw food if you want, and but it's still going to be better than processed, but definitely just go, just bring it up to mouse temperature and some warm water. Trisha said, my fur baby, say, pretty please give us raw. Oh. oh my goodness. This makes me so happy. Crystal okay. said, we just got primal, and Bella didn't like it. Sorry, the pup dog loves it, though. <laughs> raw yeah, moment, indeed. It's, it takes, it, it, it sometimes takes a moment to get We did say mouse temperature. Soon. Mouse temperature, as yeah, in like body in, temperature, like, like our like, cats normally, like this form, like this if, form, like our our cats normally, you know, their their uh, ancestral diet would be like mice, right? Yeah, and and a mouse's temperature is going to be. <laughs> Katrina said, "Mine have uh, had rocks. Like They're just jerks and like to stress me out." <laughs> yeah, Marilyn, hey Marilyn, she said, "I put primal pet foods on and off, mostly off for years. My cats love it. Yes, yes. my babies love it." Okay, said yes, reach out to Primal. I will post Gone Primal in Vegas. Yeah, girl. Yes. Carrie said, I still mix 50-50 raw, wet, raw and wet. There is a big, big country, country raw, raw here, here in Ottawa. Ottawa. Hoping only natural pet freeze dry raw comes soon. You add water to it. Hey, I'm so excited for you. My kids are on DIY raw and never been healthier. For those of you that have never tried raw, even if you uh, don't yeah. want to win this contest, still give raw a try. Yeah, you give it an honest it exactly try. Exactly. Give Heather. it an honest try. I, and to, a, to put some, for, for those of you who have never tried it, to put some realistic reality, some truth into this. Some realistic reality. For our kibble addicts, uh, for especially Pooh Bear, it took. Uh, Jay says four months. I say six, probably we somewhere in between. Because we don't. Uh, that it took to, to to transition him. Um, but he has an autoimmune disease, and it was really like he had no choice. So he can say he's not going to eat it. He's he's going to eat it, and now he does, and he is a healthier, happier baby for it. So, so it's going to take some perseverance on your sometimes, part. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. like our older cat, our oldest the time, cat, within a week, yeah. not a problem. So he knew that his body needed it. But be prepared to have it be difficult for you too, because if I make the sound of like a, li a, a kibble bag, they would still come like, oh, where's right. our food? Why are you killing us? So be prepared for that. Yes. But know that you're making such a good, good decision. Yay. Oh my God, you guys are so excited. Okay, so we're, right. gonna, we're going to, what we're going to do now is we're going to put your names into a hat and we're going to video us pulling them yes. out um, for all of you. And bless you all for even wanting to I'm so try raw, for you guys. that makes me so happy. Yeah. I cannot even tell you. This is why I've been so excited all day. I'm almost going to cry. Like, I'm so excited that you guys are even interested in giving your cats a, a fresh raw diet. Um, it's going to be so good for your cats. And uh, we're going to, yeah. Lisa just said, gosh, just joining now. Oh, we missed you. Thank you girls for your great advice. My mom's cat seems to be adjusting better. Yay. Probably off topic. Just want to say thank you. Thank oh, yay. you, Lisa. Thank for, you, Lisa. Oh, I'm confused on how much to feed transitioning to raw and wet food. It seems like so much more than kibble. No, it's so much it's, less. It's, it's less, actually, it's, yeah. it's much less. So so uh, for for a, like a kibble, you need, and, and you know, it's going to vary there's, per. The, here's the cool thing about a, primal is a, they tell you. We should they, just post that. They actually have like how much it takes to feed like a, a cat per day. We should just post this in the, I'm gonna post it in the comments. Oh, well we will, but not right now. Cause you, you would take like an hour just to take a I'm picture. not very good. Henry um, said mine took almost a year to transition. It was incredibly trying on my patients, but it was, it was all worth, worth it, it in the end. end. Exactly. Yeah, I feel the same way. Nate said, yes, Roz, awesome. And Julie, you are the bomb. Okay, you Chris said, bomb. will they get upset stomach? So no. usually not. I, yeah, um, I'll say usually it, not. But it will depend on how you transition. So um, some if if your cat is prone to being like having digestive upset, you want to do it slower. So you might take one of these um, little um, nuggets. One, yeah, one of these nuggets and like cut up a little piece of it and put it in. And you might just want to do this because your cat's finicky. But it also helps with digestive upset. So if just to, if, if your cat is, we didn't have yeah. any issue with. Well, because any we of weren't ours. feeding the same food 
all right. the we time. We didn't have like, either. yeah. Like when your cats digest, think about it like us. Um, if all I ever eat is lentil soup, because it's on the stove. And it smells if all so I ever good. eat is lentil soup, that's what my body says. Oh, I know how to digest all of this. This that's is what true. I'm going to digest. This is blah, blah, blah. So easy. Then all of a sudden I say, you know what? I think my body needs less carbs. Let me do a salad. And I eat a salad. Then my body will be like, Woo! salad shooter. And I'm going to get a shooter. Right. A salad shooter. What we call a salad shooter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gregory Lucas is here. Hey, Gregory. He said, yes, I am here. Do not worry. <laughs> yes, I am here. Welcome, Hanson. Do not Welcome. worry. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it, it, it's possible they get a digestive upset. It's possible uh, they get a digestive upset if you switch it? from one kibble to another yeah, kibble yeah. or this kibble to a wet food yeah. or this yeah. this wet food to a, uh, to a raw food. It's, it's, it what has nothing it? to do with the food in general. It has to do with how your cat's digestive system works. And sometimes we have to be gentle with that. It's not a big deal. It's That's not, so it's not something to get worried about. Um, are you going to, are you going to, did you just squirrel like on the? He's talking to me. He needs some love. Did you you just squirrel? I did. You squirrel did. like big time. I did. Right there. So we left. He's, oh, he's, he's like, let no. me out. See, I don't like being on camera. Oh. Peter Cantarelli is here. Hey, Peter. Um. Okay, so Hello. we gotta close up because we're going live on Instagram for the In other giveaway. Minutes. Um and. Thank I you guys so much. Alive, We're so. so excited. Yeah, me too. I have to be. Um, I'm so excited so to do this giveaway. We got to go through. We're going to write so down excited. all your names. If you commented, if you shared, we're going to write down everybody. Yes, and everybody that has paper. never fed raw to you. try to give their cats raw. Thank anymore. you guys so much for being open to the fact. Um, <laughs> we're going to give you a chance to feed your cats raw for the first time. Um, and that, that just makes my heart so I know we're so happy. excited for you and your babies. So happy. Um, because you're going to see like a, such a difference. <laughs> so, um, yes. Um, tomorrow. Yes. We will announce tomorrow. <laughs> we will announce tomorrow. We'll, we'll do a video together. We'll put all your names in a hat and we, we will, uh, draw it. And, um, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, and then we'll talk guys. to Primal and see if we could get some we'll more. We'll be like, hey, hey. Yeah. See if they can, you know, slide us a little something. They're going to slide us a little Slide us a little something. Yeah. We love you guys. Carrie yeah. said, Catalyst is your friend when you're transitioning. Well, all the time, Catalyst but especially during too. transition. Yeah, Good Catalyst point, is very Carrie. helpful. Why don't we think of these for, things? I don't know, because we suck at selling products. We do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we love babies. But you guys are great at it, so thank you. Um, uh, so we're about to go live on Instagram. If you guys give want us like another five minutes, chance, I want another pee. chance at winning another, yeah. because we have two. Yeah. One is Facebook, one is Instagram. We're about to go live on Instagram after we yeah, If you have an Instagram. Um, and we're going to give away another free primal product. So, um, how are we going to do that on Instagram. Insta with all the weird handles? Oh, we'll just write down the handles. Yep. Okay. We got this. Yep. Maybe we we'll see it. you on Insta. And yep. if not, hopefully we'll see you on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. We love you guys so much. Love Bye. you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.